Good morning, everyone. Um, are you a student who completed Senior 6, Form 6, and you feel you did not pass well enough to join in varsity education? Are you a parent stranded with a child at home who did not score two principal passes? Or are you a guardian of such a student? If you are, then this is for you. Just listen and know what you can do apart from repeating. So we have a program at Kampala International University that is approved by the National Council of Higher Education to offer a chance to students who did not acquire the number of principal passes they require to join university education and it is called the Higher Education Certificate Program. So that program allows you, if you did not get the right number of principal passes, if you did not get two principal passes to go for your degree program, it allows you to have a bridging course that is for two semesters for what would be called like two terms, those who are from high school, and then after that, if you pass it with the right credits, then you're able to join uh, a, a university of your choice. So one is that if you pass with one principal pass, let's say you are doing uh, PCB, physics, chemistry, and biology, and maybe you passed physics, you passed chemistry, but you not pass biology, and you want to do medicine. This is what you do. So you enroll for the higher education certificate program and you do the biological sciences. You do the, the sciences part of that course. And if you pass your higher education certificate with the credit, then you're able to join the, you're able to do medicine at any university of your choice. Let's say you did uh, history, economics and literature at a levels and you did not score the right principal passes. Maybe you have an O, you have an F, you have an E. You are good to go for a higher education certificate and after eight months, so which is one year, one academic year, you're able to join university. So this is for you, don't sit at home and wonder what you're going to do next. It is a pathway that is approved. It is a great way to join university. So you join a university, you do one year of bridging program and then you join the course of your choice. If you're in the sciences, you do the sciences line. If you're in the arts, you do the arts line. If you're in the humanities, you do the humanities line. And you can be guided by any admissions officer. And in future, in the near future, I think people will be able to change. If you are doing, for instance, PCB and you want to change and do law at university, this program is what will get you there. So you do not have to go back to senior six to repeat. This is an equivalent of your senior six. It will allow you, as long as you pass it, the, 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 you have to get the right grade point average. Grade point average is like the marks that you have to get that are given different weights, where you know you must get those, and the moment they give you a pass that you have passed, you'll be able to join the university of your choice after eight months. So don't stay at home instead of sitting with a child who, and you're confused about where to go and what to do next and to throw pity parties between you and your parents, come to university, register for the higher education certificate, start on it now. At Kampala International University, we have a, an EPO intake that is taking in students for this. Join it now such that by the end of the year, you're able to join university. So your, your colleagues whom you have who will be joining university in August will only leave you by one semester, will leave you behind by one semester, and by January or by April, you can join for those who have January intakes and spring semesters. You can join the university. So you do not have to repeat. Parents, I repeat, the children do not have to repeat. And like I said, I'll repeat it again. You do not have the right number of principal passes. Approach an admissions officer at Kampala International University and ask them what you need to do in order to join the higher education certificate and they'll guide you. Just know that you have to do the right subjects at the higher education certificate and there are other courses that you do which are cross-cutting, they are mandatory, uh, like communication skills that you're supposed to do at that level. You do them and if you pass them, after eight months you'll be guaranteed with your higher education certificate, you'll be able to join a uh, university of your choice. So I thank you very much, I hope that was helpful. Uh, we shall be having more clips about uh, university choices. If you join, what can you join? What program can you take? Depending on what courses you've done in the future. So I say, you keep it here. My name is Janice. I'm a passionate educator. 
and I'll be telling you more about university education and what choices you can make at university. So thank you, but please do not be forced to repeat because there is a choice that you can take in higher education certificate. You can Google it, you can search for it anywhere, you can come to the university and we'll guide you. Please only repeat if you have understood all your choices you have, but don't just go for repeating. The higher edu education certificate program is here to serve you and make sure that you get into university through the right channels. Thank you very much and I wish you a blessed day.